Hey everybody, it's Lauren, your host of Free To Be You. This week I'm traveling throughout the gorgeous Maine. I absolutely love it here. And this week's topic is going to be bullying. I think it's going to be really interesting to get another part of the country's perspective. I'm usually in Texas, so I'm pretty much almost as far away as possible in America. So we're going to find out what these Mainers have to say about bullying. So stay tuned and I hope you enjoy these awesome interviews. Everybody, I stopped to eat at Melby's in Waterford and I actually ran into one of my friends from middle school. We did cheering together so it's so funny that I saw her here and I thought it would be a great opportunity to ask her some questions about bullying and the stuff that we're talking about. So Catherine, do you feel like bullying has gotten better or worse since you've gotten older? I feel like no matter where you go you're gonna get bullied. I mean there's different forms of bullying mm -hmm. and there's different people do it different ways. Some people do it really sub like they Especially with cheerleaders. You know yeah. how catty the cheerleaders yeah. can be. <laughs> but it's kind of subtle, but for the most part, it doesn't really change no matter where you go. But I definitely feel like it's heavier in the north than it is in the south. Because I lived in the south last year for college. And the people down there are so friendly for the most part. And then people up here are just catty. And I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's like northerners <laughs> way of living or something. But it's... It's definitely different, but it's still still everywhere. Hey guys, I'm here with Cabin 10 at Susan Curtis, and I'm going to ask some questions about bullying today. So, how would you define the word bullying? Like, what does that mean to you? Being really mean to other people. And why do you think people do that to other people? Because they're jealous. Yeah, I think jealousy is a big part of it. Have you ever experienced this, or do you think jealousy has to do with it? Um, I, I think jealousy has to do with it mm -hmm. somewhat, so probably jealousy. And has that ever happened to you? Has anyone been mean to you before? Mm, one time at school. When, and how does that feel when that happens? I don't really like it. No, you don't. And what would be your best advice for girls who are being bullied and don't really know what to do or how to handle it? They should talk to other people. So they can just get it out. Definitely. And who are some good people to talk to about that? Your friends and parents. Yeah, your parents are definitely a good one. You should always talk to adults if it's something you can't handle, right? So if you're jealous of another girl, what do you do instead of bullying her? <clears throat> you, like, become, become friends with her and, like, share different things mm -hmm. about her. Right, and you might be surprised if you're friends with her, right? You might actually start to like her. Yeah. And how about y'all? Have either of you ever been bullied before? No, I have not been bullied. Yeah, I have been bullied at school. And how does it feel when someone does that? It's like not good. It kind of feels like a rainy day. <laughs> yeah, that's a really good way of putting it, actually. And what did you do to fix the problem, or did you fix it? I just chat with my friends about it, and they just kind of like stood around me and stuff. Yeah, it's important to have that support group to kind of help you with everything, right? Now, what does bullying mean to you? Like, how would you define that word? I would just say any sort of putting anybody else down. Mm -hmm. And why do you think girls do that so much to each other? Like, talk bad about each other? I think they're just jealous. Yeah, I think jealousy is a big part of it. Have you ever experienced anything like that? Not to me, but I've experienced with other people. And I just mm -hmm. think it's because they're better than the Christmas boy, you know? Yeah, that happens a lot. And why do you think that girls feel like they have to make other girls seem, like, less better than them? Like, why do you think girls judge other girls or um, bully them to begin with? Like, besides jealousy, what's wrong with the bully? Um, they feel like they're not as good as the other person, so they want to be better than them by putting them down. Exactly. I definitely agree. Hey everybody, I'm here with the amazing Erica from the KVYMCA, and we're going to be talking about bullying. So, do you feel like bullying has changed from when you were in school to now? I think so. I mean, there's definitely the, the social aspect of it. Um, between social media, I think it's a lot easier for it to go outside of the classroom. Yes. Um, you know, I think that that brings it calm more to the forefront for kids. Um, it, it just makes it easier. It's more accessible, I think. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, it definitely changed. I didn't have that. Um, Facebook didn't exist until I was in college, so, um, you know, but it, yeah. it was definitely a problem, and I have younger siblings that deal with it a lot, so. And why do you think girls bully each other so much? Like, what is the reason behind that? 
I could go with the age old saying that my parents have about, you know, it's insecurities and things mm -hmm. like that. Um, but, you know, I think it kind of becomes that group mentality where, you know, there's the so-called normal and the so-called cool. Right. And, you know, if you don't fit into that, then, you know, it's almost like a putting you in your place kind of thing. It definitely is. Yeah. And what advice would you give to a girl who might be watching who is getting bullied at school or online and doesn't really know what to do? I think the first step is having someone that you can talk to, um, you know, whether it's your mom, your dog, um, you know, really, I was yeah. a writer, I kept a journal, um, and for me, that was where I kept a lot of my, uh, my personal feelings about That's things great. that were going on, um, but, you know, I think a lot of it is, is realizing that you are who you are, and you will find your group. What do you girls do to... Um avoid bullying others in your life say you meet a mean girl and you don't like her what do you do instead do you just ignore her or what's your game plan with that i just like don't really talk to that person and maybe stay away from her yeah that's the best thing to do right is just ignore that person because there's no reason to be mean to others right all right well thank you girls so much for talking with me you guys have some great insight about bullying Curtis Loyalty, we hold thy name in fond memory. From the campsite up on high, we hear the loon's long hunting cry. Waters that gently lap the shore, bruises that through the pine trees roar. All the wonders of thy nature teach us to love thee more. And what would be your best advice for any girls out there who are being bullied and don't know what to do? I feel like the most important thing is just believe in yourself and know mm -hmm. that no matter what happens to you, you have to know your self-worth and you're going to be fine and that there's people out there that do care and love about you and you're you're a good person. And I, yeah. think, I think that kind of made me better as a person having to deal with that. And what, why do you think confidence is so important for girls when it comes to bullying? I think if you know who you are and you're sure of yourself, then it's easier to not let it hurt as much. Mm -hmm. um, if you're aware of how you feel about yourself and your own self-image, I think it's harder for people to bring you down or to make yes. you feel bad about yourself. Um, you know, it'd be like if someone said to me, you know, oh, you're not skinny. Well, you're right. I'm not skinny. Mm -hmm. um, but I like the way I am. And right. I know that I'm a beautiful person and the things that I do, I'm confident in that. And I think that that's something that every girl should be proud of is who is. you are. And it's not really the physical appearance that matters as much as who you are as a person. So that is great advice. Thank you so much, Erica. <laughs> Thank you for having me. <laughs> Thank you. I'm here with Sophie and Gail, and I'm going to get an older perspective about bullying. So, have you guys felt like bullying has changed from when you were in school to now? Well, considering I'm still in high school, probably not really, but uh, since like elementary school, it's probably gotten like more aggressive, and mm -hmm. it definitely happens more often in high school than elementary school. Yeah, girls can get a lot meaner. Oh yeah. How about you? Yeah, um, it's a different type of bullying, really, because it used to be more of in person, um, and just like... Mm, hurtful comments whereas now it's spread on the internet and mm -hmm. that kind of stuff can never be taken back neither can the hurtful comments but it's mm. and how do you think we can solve this problem of bullying I mean obviously not one person can but what can each individual do about it um, I definitely think if you think before you talk you can mm -hmm. uh, stop a lot of hurtful comments from happening and making sure that you're not talking gossiping about other girls and mm -hmm. especially in like middle school which is a bad time for a lot of girls yes, uh, there, there's a lot of bullying that happens there just making sure that you're talking like not meanly about other people no I definitely agree and what about you do you have the same perspective or? um I would agree definitely um I would also say if you're more comfortable and happy with yourself you're less likely mm -hmm. to be um targeting others so self-confidence is key that's definitely true, because even if someone does bully you, it won't hurt you as much. And what about the person who's bullying someone else? Like, besides just jealousy, what makes them do that? I think uh, even if you have a bad home life, it, you can take it out on other mm -hmm. people around you, and it's self-confidence is definitely another issue. If you mm -hmm. uh, don't feel good about yourself, you want to bully someone else to make you feel good. 
Yeah, I think that's exactly what it is. And what would be your best advice for a girl who is being bullied and doesn't really know what to do or how to handle it? Um, I would say to reach out to other people and at the same time to realize that if someone is saying hurtful things, it's probably because they aren't comfortable with themselves or there's something that they're envious of about you. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Y'all have such a great insight. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm here in Waterford, Maine with Nancy Forrest, and we're going to get an adult perspective on bullying. So as an adult, do you still experience bullying or do your peers ever experience bullying still? As an adult, bullying takes on different forms, and I think mm -hmm. that um, uh, <laughs> in the workplace, you do as a female, sometimes you will find yourself mm -hmm. in positions um, where your superiors kind of bully you into something, and, um, and it's a fine line between being a superior and being a manager right. versus, um, you know, pushing someone into a corner and, or making them feel like I had a boss that used to humiliate me to make, you know, so he would feel right. superior as my boss. And so that's a, an interesting experience to go through when you're, you know, in the workplace because you don't really have anyone to go to to say, hey, <laughs> I'm not comfortable here. So, but I, in my day-to-day -day life and my friends, I mean, I think as you get older, you select your friends and you select, mm -hmm. um, bullying doesn't exist if you don't let it in your life. So if you, um, you know, you select your friends, you have your group, and mm -hmm. it's kind of like your home, and you let people in that you're comfortable with. So you don't have to deal with that. But as with my children, I found that, you know, going through elementary school and going up, the ebb and flow of the different personalities of who mm -hmm. they would connect with, like some of the parents or the teachers, I don't know, it, it, you know, it, it would be some awkward times where they'd have to learn right. how to handle it and how to just step away and not get involved. I think if you don't engage in the bullying, if you don't mm -hmm. let them feel big right. or that they're yeah. getting one up on you, that you're in a better place. So your daughters are 15 and 18, mm -hmm. correct? Now, what was the advice you would give them when they were growing up if they got bullied or if they were bullying others and do they still experience that? Um... I would always have them look at the other kid's perspective, mm -hmm. like, you know, what is that child going through, what makes that person feel the way they do to make, right. you know, so I would want them to stand in their shoes, but I also wouldn't want them to engage, like step right. away and make sure that they perhaps go see a teacher if it was elementary school, and when you're in high school, you know, just um, stay away. Everybody be free to love! That's a wrap on this month's segment of Free to Be You. I have had so much fun traveling throughout the state of Maine. Everybody I've talked to has been so smart and they really know what they're talking about when it comes to bullying. This just really goes to show that bullying can happen anywhere. So we really need to be careful about what we say and who we say it to because you never know what someone else is going through. So keep that in mind and look out for next month's segment. I'm Lauren Galley signing out. Don't forget to be you because there's no one else like it. Be free to love.